and best memories of my life are at Georgetown. I met my wife my senior year. I had a blind date with her for our last basketball game. We got married two years later. I met my husband-to-be in a bar. I had a raincoat on. You said, did somebody pour you into that raincoat? Or did you just sit real still while they stitched it on you? And I turned my head around and I said, I don't even know you. Now that the statute of limitations has passed from freshman year, it was some pep rally. It involved a, uh, a smoke bomb and uh, a, lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of fun. Lots of good memories from the Zooms, definitely. We organized an open to close day one time where about 15 of us got there for brunch and stayed all day. My best friend I met here as a freshman and she's still my best friend 24 years later. Some of my best friends that I've made uh, actually met at this school. So we were all excited to come back down. And also for the Peggy special that I just got at Wise Miller's again. Professor Mowbray, um, French, walked into his class first day. I'm a hippie in the 70s wearing jeans and he says, look around because if anybody's not wearing a dress or a tie and a shirt, you're inappropriately dressed for class, all in French. I thought I was a smart kid in high school. And then you come here and you have this, this class called the problem of God and it just blew my mind and it just made me realize I was in the right place. Professor McTeague, he was my freshman philosophy teacher. The first day he gives out a blue book exam and the question was why? Everybody was writing, everybody was writing. I was like, why not? Got the only A in the class. Tuition for three years was $300. After I got here, I wrote my first tuition check. I think it might have been the first check I ever wrote for $150 and I didn't know how to write the check. We lived in Henley, uh, four of us, um, and we used to have our own little girls' uh, parties. New South was really new then. My sophomore year was brand new. I liked being in Copley because most things took place right here on this lawn right here, and you always look, looked out onto it and always felt like that you had your finger on the pulse of whatever was going on. When we were here, there was a pub in Hilly Basement. My years here included uh, the, uh, the war in Vietnam, uh, the bombing of Cambodia. As the world went through a transformation and the country went through a transformation, as did Georgetown. We didn't even have women in the college when I started. I'm here with my husband and my son, and I'm sure the university will continue to be, you know, just a great resource for kids. I mean, it's a great foundation for people not only to, you know, um, obtain an education, but also build relationships. And I hope my son comes here as well. <laughs>